chest down and you don't want to make excuses. Um, so I'm happy that he went out there and uh, showed that he could go three rounds and put on a fight at night and, and got a big W. Well, that guy was tougher than, you know, I think a lot of people thought. They showed you guys sparring on the countdown show. You're sparring like without headgear. Is that is that regular for you? Yeah. This is actually the first training game that I did wear headgear. I wore headgear uh, more often. But yeah, but for, for that video, I didn't have good headgear, so it kept falling off. So I just ripped it off and threw it, on the, threw it over the cage. I, I, I can't stand wearing headgear, but I finally found a good headgear that works. And um, yeah. you, you have a zero. She is a zero. You beat a guy who hadn't lost in the UFC. There are people actually specifically to Rousey, if you can answer that says if she would lose, it actually would be better for business. That if you have a champion who goes down, she has something to fight for back. But that kind of seems twisted. Isn't it better to have kind of a dominant person and that mystery of the zero by the record? If we're talking about Ronda? Yeah, I mean, for no, I all think she's you done. Yeah, no, I think you got to keep winning, keep winning. Um, and people are going to want to see you, you know, because they want they want to see you possibly have a chance to lose right. if, they, if they're hating on you, and then the other people are rooting for you to do good. So I think winning is, is the key. Thank you. Is 185 still easy to make or are you suffering? No, yeah, 185 is pretty easy. I haven't got over 215 um, in like a year and a half, maybe a year. Uh, my, since my last, since I fought Anderson, my weight hasn't gone up past 215. I, I train around like 205, 206, and we, you know, when I'm leaving to come out to Vegas, I'm around like 200. I do a water loading thing where my weight literally drops from like 200 to 192, 193, and then I usually cut from there, so it's like, what, seven, eight pounds or something like that. I know you're inside most of the time, but the fact it's 115, 116 degrees, does that have any impact on you at all in terms of your preparation and sweating and weight cutting and any of that type of stuff? Uh, you know what? It, no, not at all because I'm always inside, but I might do my, some of my weight cut outside tonight on my little balcony. I have a little jacuzzi, and I mean, it's pretty much a sauna when you walk outside. It's, it's like a dry sauna, so um, I might do some weight cut out there to make it a little different. What was that like seeing chicken bones in your uh, thing? It's pretty nasty. I was just like, I thought Daniel Cormier was in there before me with some Popeye's <laughs> chicken. There was ketchup packets and freaking chicken bones. Did you actually but, go in it then after they cleaned it? Yeah, they, they, they cleaned it like two days later. They, it's clean now, uh, but I'm just like, it's hard to, there's thing, things, other things floating in there. I guess there was like a Playmate party in there or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's in there. But supposedly they cleaned it. There was a pool guy that came. I haven't gotten into it yet, but I think maybe tonight or tomorrow. You're a brave man, dude. What could be in there that could infect me? I, <laughs> could I get hey, sick? I don't think any bodily fluids. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Go ahead and tell me. Chris, I know you got your plate full on this Saturday, but has the 205-pound belt ever crossed your mind? Not at this point. You know, I'm... Uh, Super fights have crossed my mind, but not really the, the 205 pound belt. I have to, I have a lot uh, I have a lot of work to do at 185 first to even think about that. And what type of super fights uh, do you think about with two? Well, I haven't thought about it in, like in a while, but there was one point where um, when someone got hurt and they were gonna, when they, when they really canceled that card, I wanted to step up and fight John Jones. It really didn't make sense. Um, like John Jones wouldn't accept the fight. I was like a no name at that point, but I asked to do that. I always just want to fight the best guys that there are. Um, but right now, it, it makes no sense for me to even to be talking about super fights. But it would always be me going up in weight class. I don't want to fight guys smaller. Chris, you're pretty relaxed. Are you working out since so tonight? Is that been your full process the whole sort of camp? Um, relaxed? Yeah, I've been pretty relaxed. You know, I work hard, but um, I think when you work hard, you can just you afford yourself to be a little bit more relaxed. You know, all the hard work's behind me at this point. Uh, I did everything I could, worked hard, and. Uh, Whatever's gonna happen on Saturday night is gonna happen.